Hi, welcome to Fast Company's 29th floor. I'm here with Mark Wilson to talk about space. It's been a great couple of weeks for NASA. First we saw these amazing images of Pluto, and now the Kepler probe has beamed back findings that there is an Earth-like planet out there in another solar system. It's called Kepler 452b. Catch and your name. Catch your name. Catch yeah, your they name. came up with a really sci-fi, like a bestseller yeah. novel name for it. And but come on, Mark. You'd go, right? Wouldn't you go? Wouldn't you go live there if you could? Is this bad of me to say I wouldn't go? Why not? It's a new planet. It is one and a half times the size of Earth, and it rotates around the sun in almost the same year. It's like 368 days. I mean, yeah, I know. the it's atmosphere, really close. the temperature is like almost the same. I mean, come on, you'd have the whole, you'd be able to inhabit a whole new world. You wouldn't go do it. It's come exciting. On, crazy. No, it's really exciting. There is two times the gravity, so let me just say that. I'm a bit lazy, and that, that sounds, <laughs> it sounds, that sounds a little, like it just sounds hard. It sounds hard to live in two times gravity. But you know, it's 1,400 light years away, right? So, so if we could travel at light speed, which we can, right, it would literally take 1,400 years. So I'm not sure I would trade off, you know, my family relationships, sort of everything else uh, going on in my life to visit a planet that might really suck. You could get there, the oceans might have dried up for one thing. Um, just, it doesn't necessarily mean it's habitable, like truly habitable, it's just potentially habitable. There's potentially, you know, a possibility for life. There and aren't that many planets in that we have discovered that actually do seem habitable. So that's why NASA and scientists right. are so excited about it. Because they have, they have 12 basically now that they found. Right, they have 12 yeah. and, and they just aren't that many, they think. So, but come on, you gotta admit, a lot of people would sign up to go if there were a way to get there, right? Would you, wait, would you? Would you go? I mean, I think it's a it's it's a tough call. I agree. I'm first of all, they would never send me. I'm too old. Would my son? Would I let my son go? Would you let your son go? I might. I might be willing to let my son go if he was going to make history that way. The problem is, of course, like I'd be dead by the time he even got anywhere near the planet, right? So right. I'd never even know if he achieved the mission or whatever. But. I mean, it would be pretty amazing to be the first, one of the first people to go to a new planet mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see what that was like. But I do think we should also be investing in propulsion systems, right? Into these drives of, of the future um, that NASA is doing some investment in, but a little bit slowly. If we do that, we can get to Mars faster. We can get to, we can get to the attainable spots, I think, faster. Um, and we can do research faster and send those probes faster. <laughs> All right, we want to know what you think. Would you go? What should be the next step for Kepler452b? Hashtag 29th floor. Mark and I will respond to you as always. We're interested in your comments and whether you think that we're crazy or should we be focusing on something closer to home? Thanks and see you next week. I'd say if you don't want Noah to put his son on a rocket ship tomorrow, you should definitely comment on Twitter. <laughs>